Hello, everybody. Way 3 meteorologist Brian Good here with the latest edition of Snow Talk. And, yes, we are talking about the chance for uh, snow uh, yet again. This is a quick update on what's happening coming up for Valentine's Day, and then we'll end on a good note about the warm weather. So uh, hopefully I can make everybody happy here in the next few moments. Let's start right with it here. Uh, Temperature-wise, outside, we're going to climb above uh, freezing again. They're already there. Ignore that sensor, by the way, into uh, Seymour. I still think you've got some ice uh, that is kind of messing up the sensor there in Seymour. So you're warmer than 21, all right? No need to panic. But uh, 30s around the area. Already got a 41 showing up as you head into areas of court. And so temperatures will be into the lower 40s, uh, it looks like, for later on this afternoon, which will do some melting as we head into the uh, afternoon hours as well. Okay, on the satellite, see no clouds to talk about. It is nice and clear over the area. Now, here's a wider view of what's going on. A couple things to point out. Of course, the big storm that's been impacting the East Coast. Got the wraparound snow now leaving Kentucky, heading off to the north and east. This little feature here is not really the one that we're going to be that concerned about when it comes to tomorrow. What is going to happen, and this is an interesting setup here, and it's what's making it so complicated, is that as we get into tomorrow, there's a little bit of a tail that is forming off of the system. You see it there a little bit on the satellite image. That is going to drift down to areas of Illinois later tonight and tomorrow. At the same time, there's going to be a piece of energy moving across areas of the northern Rockies that is going to race and join in with this system and form an area of low pressure that will then deepen and head off to the east. That's a lot to happen in a very short amount of time. So you can see that there is still some questions we've got here on how this is going to evolve. But the trends are all there that this is all going to time out perfectly for a period of snowfall to take place here in the Ohio Valley as the storm takes shape as we get into tomorrow. So here's the latest on how it's looking on our future cast, our in-house model. And overall, the model's in pretty good agreement on this. That's why I'm showing it. Tonight, we drop down into the 20s. But as we get into tomorrow, around midday, this is going to be a crucial time period of the daytime uh, because at 1.30 in the afternoon, the models are showing that areas that have not seen any precipitation fall yet, we're talking about 30s and 40s. And where it starts to break out, usually we always see this little streak will break out first in our far northern counties. You've already uh, cooled down to the point of where it's going to stick at that freezing mark, if not lower. This is an important part because if we rise to 38 at 1.30 in the afternoon, that is going to determine how much of a fall we're going to have when the snow starts. Because if we get too warm, if we end up around, say, 45 degrees here in Louisville around 1.30 tomorrow afternoon, a lot of this is going to end up being just rain and if it goes to snow, it probably won't even accumulate. So there's a huge bust potential here on our temperatures tomorrow, depending on how warm we get as we approach the midday time frame. So that is a crucial number to keep an eye on. If you're going to be watching the weather tomorrow, the thermometer by midday is going to be a big number here for us. If we manage to stay just right at 38, so that's the warmest we get, then the snow will break out. And once the snow comes into the area, it's going to be a very heavy, wet snow. That will allow a, a pretty big drop in temperature when that snow picks up on the average of 5 degrees, it looks like, around the area. So, again, where we see that number reach midday will determine how much of a fall we'll have when the snow starts. But we're all expecting temperatures very close to freezing when the heaviest of snow kicks in. So, this will mean mainly wet roads in many spots. 32 degrees, salt works really good, and wet roads are the main issue. Side roads could get snow covered, but... Uh, it's mainly going to be sticking to cars, rooftops, trees, power lines, that kind of a deal. And it could snow really hard here, folks. I mean, this is a heavy, wet snow across northern Kentucky and southern Indiana. So it'll accumulate fast once it gets going. Our southern county is more questionable because, again, you're going to have a better chance to stay warmer by midday. So your fall later in the day is not going to be as dramatic. And therefore, rain is a little more likely for our southern counties. Although... As we head toward the end of the system, I think you'll end as a little bit of snow before it's all said and done Friday night. So here's how it's looking. By the time we get into Saturday morning, temperatures into the teens. So whatever falls snow-wise, and if the roads are wet, they will become frozen through the overnight hours Friday night and early Saturday. So use caution. So even though the roads may be wet when it snows tomorrow afternoon, as we into Friday night, the roads can actually become icy as temperatures drop into the teens. So a tricky forecast there when it comes to the timing there of temperatures versus the snow band moving in. How much snow? The RPM model is uh, giving us uh, higher totals to the north, and that's because the fact that you guys drop faster than we do here across the river. So that's why it's saying higher north, an uh, inch or two here along the river, and then obviously lesser amounts where you're going to be warmer to the south. Other models are not as dramatic with the warming tomorrow, so they help us out on the totals a little bit. It's talking about two to four inches of snow. Southern Indiana, northern Kentucky. The uh, NAM model uh, is also quite aggressive here with about a two to three inch snowfall in Louisville and four, maybe even five inches of snow across areas 
of southern Indiana. So there is a chance we could uh, see a 2- to 5-inch band, certainly a lawn and north of 64. And then as we end to Sunday, a weak little system, you saw it uh, scoop by there pretty fast, but a weak little system kind of moves on by here in northern Kentucky. This is the zone here where there could be some light snow uh, early on Sunday, and overall looks to be less than a half inch, mainly just a dusting, but it looks to be all snow when that comes through, by the way, early on Sunday. Here's the good news, though, as we into next week. I still think we'll get close to 50 or so as we into Monday and Tuesday with rain likely, and then look what's happening. The model is now suggesting near 70 by the time we head into Thursday, and the European model keeps the warmth intact. The upper 60s to around 70 all the way through that weekend, although I do see signs there's going to be a pretty big storm developing here in the Plain States across Texas that is going to pull eastbound as we head into the uh, last few days of February, and that would likely mean a winter storm for the Ohio Valley the way it's looking now. Uh, but that's way down the road, so we'll worry about that once we uh, get a little bit later in time. So uh, to sum it all up for us, no problems this afternoon, no problems tonight. Tomorrow, heavy wet snow will break out, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Indiana first, working its way into the Ohio River and 64 corridor by 3 or 4 o'clock. That means the rush hour period could be hampered by heavy snow falling, but hopefully we can keep the roads just wet and uh, no major problems there. But I wouldn't roll out that if it can snow hard enough, inch, inch and a half per hour, we could have some snow-covered roads pretty fast, and that can change the game completely for the afternoon rush. So uh, we're going to be watching the afternoon very carefully tomorrow and fine-tuning that once the system gets in. But uh, we've seen this before when it comes to bus potential. If we get too warm before it moves in around midday, yeah, it's going to be a, a less uh, an event for us, certainly. So uh, we've got to watch that thermometer uh, tomorrow morning and midday there. Okay, otherwise, enjoy your Valentine's Day coming tomorrow because – if you know it's going to snow, might as well just stay at home and enjoy dinner and uh, with your loved one and, uh, and have a good evening overall. Looking forward to the warm-up. All right, we'll see you guys come up today starting at 5 o'clock.